Disclaimer! So the video you're about to watch, the first part of it is kind of like out of focus, whatnot, but then there's a part like halfway through maybe that it will focus and it will not be out of focus. Um, I know I have to like do things with that, but me, when it tends to like get with like a makeup tutorial or like makeup routine, whatever, I do not like to refilm it. As you can see, this is the finished look. So disclaimer, this is a disclaimer, okay? Disclaimer, future editing Tori. So just letting y'all know that. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's up? This is a collab video with me, Cheer. We are swapping makeup routines, so this is gonna be very interesting. I have the notes here on her makeup routine. We're doing a glam makeup, so this is hers. Um, her first one is wash face, so I obviously already washed my face before I started filming. Um, so yeah, let's just get into the video. Alright, so the first one um, she does is toner. So I have this vegan toner from Snap. Okay, this is actually not toner. I thought it was. But we're just going to use this. It's like the closest thing I have from toner. I don't really... Okay. Okay. Next up uh, is foundation. I will be using a foundation I've had for a while. You probably have to like change foundations, but this will be the foundation that I will be using. It is Soft Honey by CoverGirl. I think I got it from Target or CVS. We're not scrub it, but blend it in. I like to blend it in with my hands because I just feel like I have more control with my hands than a blender. I'm so not used to like putting foundation on me. <laughs> okay, it feels like I'm putting cream, not foundation. Okay, it. Next up is concealer. My all time favorite concealer, what I always use in every makeup video I do is the Tarte Concealer. The Tarte Concealer. And then this, I normally blend it with a blender just because my hands, they do tend to like rub it in weirdly. So this one I do use a blender. I use this sort of like donut blender. Circle. I love it, honestly. And I think from Forever 21. So yeah, they have good stuff. Okay, next up is eyebrows. I don't exactly have like eyebrow stuff. Um, I don't really know what to call it. I just, I guess we'll use this eyebrow brush and just brush my eyebrows out. All right, next up after eyebrows. Oh, she puts like a sort of eyelid tape. Um, I used to have that. I don't have it now, so we will skip that. Onto the eyeshadow. She uses dark red fuchsia with shimmer. So we're going to obviously grab our James Charles palette and use the dark red fuchsia. For the dark red fuchsia, I will be using this color right here. Okay. <laughs> I think I used the brush too big. Okay. It's fine. My eyelids are pretty small, so like, it's kind of obvious, but it's fine. It looks good. Okay. That is the dark red fuchsia. Next, oh, with shimmer. Okay, so for the shimmer, I plan on using, oh. This one right here is like a little light shimmery, so I'll be using that. I'm not going to be using this huge brush. Let's, I'm just going to be using it in the little corner. That's how I like to blend my 
eyeshadow when I like use two different colors just to like up here okay I feel like I don't know for me it looks the best it comes out the best so and you can see it more too because you know like when you look up and you put it like in this corner you can't really see it but instead like if you put it in this corner I feel like you can see it more so that's why I tend to use this corner a lot gosh I'm actually liking how this is looking <laughs> okay all right now she uses dark red lipstick okay so I actually do have dark red lipstick I got it at Target a while back this is how it looks like <laughs> not worn dark red lipstick in a while okay mascara applied twice hey okay. i have my mascara <laughs> um you know what i think i left my mascara in my other makeup bag it's not here oh my gosh okay literally how can i wear my mascara i'm so dumb hey <laughs> okay so we are not going to do mascara. I'm so sorry for this. <laughs> because I forgot. I'm so dumb. Okay. So what we're going to do is just curl our eyelashes. That's all we can do. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Uh, eyeliner. So the eyeliner, she had specifically put box eye. Which will be around here if y'all don't know what that is. You know, some people don't know what that is. It's really fine to not know what it is. Okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, literally, I always do this eye better than the other one. Just watch. I'm going to mess it up. We'll see. We'll see. Like, uh, oh, actually... Okay, 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 it came out better than I was expecting the other eye. <laughs> alright, alright, okay. So now it's on to contour. Let's contour, baby. Okay, I have no clue what happened, it didn't die. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. So anyways, yeah, I was just fixing something up. Now, contour. I use this Ulta. I honestly love it. <laughs> okay, finding the right one. This one. I'm tripping. Right here. It was right in front of my face. Okay. pretty good job with this makeup swap thing pink blush I got the pink blush somewhere no that's not it <laughs> no that's oh oh wait I got the pink blush right here in this palette yep pink blush I feel beautiful right there see that I got the blush peeps not like I don't Okay. It actually fell right into my makeup bag. Score! <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm like having fun. Okay. It's so pigmented, this blush from the Adela Morin palette. I love it. Alright. We're done with blush. Highlight. I got my highlight. Okay, I have here it is the liquid highlighter. All right, so in this one we're gonna put it on the brow bone, brow bone, brow bone, brow bone. Okay, we'll see. Um, I think for the brow bone I'm gonna use this highlight right here, Promise Ring, so that way it's not too liquidy and like not too much. Okay, 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 okay. 
see. Okay. I will be using this tiny ass brush. Okay. 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 I dabbed it. Like a dab. Yes, a dab. <laughs> okay. Brow bone. I've never done a brow bone. Okay. I hope I'm like doing it right. I feel like it's a. Is it supposed to go in here? Am I right? Am I right? I don't know. Well, you know what? I don't normally do this on my brow bone, so it's gonna be an experience. Let's see how well it turns out. Okay. Alright, peeps. I think that's good. Okay, um, next, Cupid's bow. Cupid's bow. Why is it called Cupid's bow, y'all? Okay. No! Wrong. Okay, for Cupid's bow, we'll be using the liquid highlighter. Look how small, though. It's so cute, isn't it? Okay. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the prettiest of them all? Oh, there's a hair. Boo! We're gonna get more. Okay, now, finger, finger, because it's the best. Okay, ooh, this highlight though. Honestly, I love that two highlights that I use. They're so shiny. Okay, next, um, we put at the tip of the nose and the bridge. So for that, I will be using back to this one. Dab, okay, bridge. Okay. Obviously, I'm going to dab it a little bit out. Okay, interesting. I've never done it like at the bridge of my nose. I've done it like on the tip of my nose, but not on the bridge. Okay, setting spray with Ulta. I'm gonna be using this Bath and Body Works perfume. It smells really good. Fresh, sparkling snow. <laughs> okay, I'll get that later. Ready? Do you like my look? Comment down below if you like it. If you have fun watching this with all my dumbness. Oh, stupidness. What, what do you want to call it, bro? Well, we are done with this look. I am glad you tuned in. And I hope you guys liked this video. And you hit that red subscribe button because, hey, this girl is going to be famous. No, just kidding. JK, JK. But, yes, if you really like my content, then just just hit it okay i will see you in next week's video mm -hmm.